These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. In all the confusion and frustration of the present time, there is only one moral builder that is worth following, and that is the Bible. The tribulations of earth do not destroy the peace of God in a Christian's heart. Jesus told the disciples that they would have tribulation in the world, but at the same time, he declared that in him they would have peace. People are badly mistaken when they anticipate nothing but prosperity under the rule of divine providence. Adversity is as much a part of God's plan of life as prosperity. The darkness of night alternates with the light of day, and there is as much of one as there is of the other. A Christian can expect to have as much sorrow as he has joy. Instead of trying to find a way to miss all the hardships of life, we should consider the biblical way of having peace and being happy in hardships. Christians should never succumb to the idea that adversity can thwart the providence of God. God's way of finding perfect peace does not provide a detour around all trouble. It just shows one how to behave himself in times of trouble. James 1 verse 12 Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life.